The Battle of Geonosis was a pivotal event that led to the beginning of the Clone Wars, and although casualties were high, the Republic managed to score the earliest victory in what would be a three year long conflict. But what would happen if the Republic had lost this battle? Now, during the Battle of Geonosis, it's where the clone army was first used in real combat. After the Jedi's initial attack, which left only a couple of dozen of the 200 sent alive, the Grand Army of the Republic swooped in and began an attack on the Separatist world. Now, despite being outnumbered, perhaps the main reason the Republic defeated the CIS was down to how they attacked the Geonosian launching hives preemptively, meaning that they enjoyed air superiority throughout the battle. And the CIS wasn't really ready for an attack on this scale, their cruisers and capital ships were primarily docked on the world's surface, making them very easy targets. But for this theory, we're going to say that doesn't happen. The Hives managed to scramble their fighters and the CIS have their shipyards better defended, perhaps even saying that they knew about the clone army beforehand. So we're going to say that in this attack, the Republic forces are obliterated. Primarily their capital ships are destroyed, leaving their infantry without air support to be torn apart by hordes of droids and Geonosians. In this defeat, almost all combatants for the Republic are killed, including the surviving Jedi who are leading the attack. Now from here, what would happen and how would it affect the war as a whole? Well, first of all, Geonosis would likely remain a citadel for the CIS. With the Republic unable to destroy their primary foundries and defences, the world would continue to be a major supplier of armaments for the CIS's war effort. Meanwhile, the Republic would be in uproar. You see, at the start of a campaign, it's often important to begin with momentum. The Republic's victory in our timeline showed the galaxy that the Republic wasn't weak. It gave senators and the systems in the Republic the impression that the war would be quick, and although it did stagnate as time went on as the CIS re-established its footing, the Republic would still be very optimistic that their victory was assured. As well as this, a win on Geonosis reassured the galaxy that the clone army was formidable enough to win this war. But without this reassurance, Republic systems wouldn't see the clones as a force worthy of protecting the Republic and their homes. For this reason, in a timeline where the Battle of Geonosis was won by the CIS, the Republic would be weaker. It would create the impression that the CIS was the superior force, and this early on in the war, parties are more likely to want to cut their losses before the war comes to their homeworlds and their people. It's likely that after this chaotic defeat, combined with the anger over creating an army that didn't live up to expectations and the costs associated with it, a large portion of the Senate would demand peace talks to start immediately. As well as this, the Jedi would be having issues of their own. After their entire leadership, the Jedi Council would have been wiped out. This suggests that they wouldn't be able to aid in the war as much as many in the Republic would have hoped, as generals and as the peacekeepers that they've always served as. Essentially, by halting the Republic's first major offensive, disproving the superiority of their clone army, and disassembling the leadership of their elite peacekeeping force, a CIS victory would have been catastrophic for the Republic, and it's easy to see how after such a crushing defeat, many wouldn't be very optimistic about the war. The Republic would either be forced by wary senators into peace talks with the CIS, where they'd face reparations, unfavourable territorial agreements, and having to pay for the huge army that they didn't have a use for, or they'd continue to fight in the war. However, it's likely this also would be less successful as it was in our timeline, as senators would be less enthusiastic of the war and investing more credits into fighting it. The failure on Geonosis would become a stain on the Republic's history and an example of its failings. But what do you think would happen if the CIS won the Battle of Geonosis? Thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed as I had a lot of fun with this theory. If so, please remember to like and sub as it's really appreciated and helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy if you want some regular updates. Thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.